goes in the arc here. Shalom. I want to begin this lesson by giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. And Yahweh is the true name of the heavenly Father, who this world calls God. Yahweh Shah being the true name of His only begotten Son, who this world calls Jesus. Bahashim in the name Yerachah Kodash in the Holy Spirit. I'm the brother Yuanathan, coming from the Great Millstone Salt, Great Millstone West Palm. Back with another lesson, and I pray that this lesson is edifying. All right, and through the Spirit, man, you know we're gonna go into this. You know this is an article that came out from uh, on the end time headlines. And uh, so I'll give for that, you know, article that came out on the end time headlines. And, um, you know, I, I believe today is the 18th. All right. But it says three factors that are about to make the coming food shortages even worse, man. You see, so, you know, if you don't believe what, you know, through the spirit, if you don't believe what we're saying, you know, the words that, uh, you know, you know, the words of your how about small shot that we are saying, you know, are, are you, you're not going to believe this man. All right. And we know that these are articles, you know, these are like, um, um, how do you say the brother? You know, these are like alternative uh, media sources and articles. Hey, but this man is <laughs> is prophesying a, a, a coming full shortage to, um, you know, to you people, man. OK, and prophesy means to say before, you know, so anybody could, you know, say anything before. But this man is telling you that, you know, a food shortage is coming. Not only that, this man is telling you that um, a new um, a, a NWO is a, a NWO is coming, man. This man is is telling you that the MOTB is is about to be a reality in this thing, man. All right, so if you're not taking our words, hey, take the words of these people that control this system, man. And we know that the um, the elites run it. All right, but most of these people be t uh be plugged in, man. Okay, and hey, even um the beloved brother Baal from the camp, hey, he sent the video as well, man. All right, <clears throat> in the chat, you know how Walmart it doesn't have any chicken, man. Not only that, but your your beef. All right, your your turkey, your steak, all these different meats. All right, or all these different poultry, poultry, if if I may say, hey, it's low. And the brother said it's never been like that, man. All right, you know, hey, before the pandemic, you go to any type of a uh, grocery store or or meat store, hey, and it's it'll be in abundance, man. But we see that, hey, that food shortage is it, it, coming. And like the brother said, you know, I was speaking to the brother. And the brother said, hey, it's because a hey, McDonald's is still open. Wendy's is still open. You can still get fast food. But, hey, a food shortage is coming. All right. And I want to first begin at Jeremiah, the 14 chapter. And I want to start at verse 13. And it reads, then said I, Lord, Yahweh, behold, the prophet say unto them, ye shall not see the sword. Neither shall ye see, neither shall ye have famine. That's right, man. These false prophets, these different uh teachers, you know, are telling that hey, it ain't gonna be no famine, nor is it gonna be a time of trouble. You you know that one camp that said there ain't gonna be a time of Jacob's trouble, but they switching it up, all right? Or you know, all these different you know, pastors or false teachers, you know, saying that there there isn't gonna be a famine, all right? But guess what? It says Neither shall ye neither shall ye have famine, but I will give you assured peace in this place. And that's what um that's what the the majority of these teachers uh um preach that hey, it is gonna be an assured uh peace in this place, man. Okay. But we know it's not, man. It's a, a time like there would never be before since there was a nation roughly paraphrasing the scripture, man. All right. A hey, famine is that, that that is a biblical prophecy, man, that there's going to be a famine of bread, man. All right. Even tells you in Amos, the eight chapter 11 verse, it will say it says um, not a famine of bread. But, you know, it's going into the famine of the word, but it's just show you that, hey, that famine of bread, you know, it, it's coming soon. Not only that, but second, um, 
uh second Ezra the second Ezra the sixth chapter or the twenty two verse where it says how the um, the storehouses matter of fact we're gonna get that next uh Lord willing but verse fourteen Jeremiah fourteen verse fourteen then the Lord said unto me the prophets prophesy lies in my name I have not sent them neither have I commanded them neither spake unto them they prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of not and the deceit of the heart that's right man all right because hey it's, it's that peace and safety spirit here man all right and the majority yeah, the majority of these cats preach that peace and safety spirit man there's gonna be a time of trouble all right hey but you have about shot has sent his men to prophesy unto you that there's gonna be a famine man that there's gonna be a time of trouble man okay and you you even get into the mind of your Habashim Al Shah in a way as well, man. All right, because hey, he sent his men. All right, second um Chronicles, the 36th chapter, 15, starting at the 15th verse, it says, And your Habashim Al Shah had compassion, all right, on his people, man. All right, in his dwelling place. Matter of fact, let me get that. You know, just to get in, you know, just to get into the mind of your Habashim Al Shah, even though, you know, we can't, because it says our ways are not his ways, neither all neither are our thoughts his thoughts man but you can see that, hey yahab Shah is having mercy right now man having mercy by sending his men to to give out that warning all right to blow that trumpet okay but we're seeing that hey the majority of these people really don't care and that's why it says when they shall when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction man okay um, also get Ezekiel the seventh chapter next after this. Uh, this is Second Chronicles chapter thirty six, verse fifteen. And the Lord Yahweh Shah of their fathers sent to them by his Salaki. I'm gonna read it again. Uh, Second Chronicles chapter thirty six, verse fifteen. And the Lord Yahweh Bahashmal Shah of their fathers sent to them by his messengers, rising up but times and sending, because he had compassion on his people and his dwelling place, but. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. That's right. So we're going to see right now the Heavenly Father is, is, is showing mercy, man. So in the time, hey, when that time of trouble, when that destruction, when Jacob's trouble pops off, it ain't going to be time for no more talking, man. Okay, because hey, how about Shemal Shah is giving out mercy right now? And then when you even go to Proverbs, the first chapter, it says, when I have called, he refused. Okay, and that's why he hey, he's going to give you over. All right. To your own devices in that time, man, because many people think, you know, this is a game or many people think that we're coming out there on our own accord, you know, saying our own words. No, this is how Bashmal Shah show, man. All right. These are his words. All right, but he sent his men to give out that warning, man. Okay, and let me also get um, um, Ezekiel chapter seven, verse Ezekiel chapter seven, verse twenty five, and it reads: "Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none." That's right, man. You see, everybody's in that peace and safety spirit, man. Because, like the brother said, man, you you can go to McDonald's still. McDonald's is open. Wendy's is open. You know, all these different fast food chains are open. So you don't think that there's a famine, right? But when you go into these stores, man, and a hey, Lord willing, I'm gonna uh, play the clip in the beginning of this lesson, right? But when you go into these stores, man, hey. It, it, it's empty <laughs> all right so but everybody's in that uh peace and safety spirit let's also get um second ezra is the sixth chapter verse okay six and uh second ezra is chapter six verse 22 and it reads and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown that's right just like you know, before the pandemic, you could you could go to Sam's Club, Costco's, Walmart, Publix, right? And you could have everything that you need and you can get it in abundance, right? These trucks would 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 always come to refill, all right, to stock back up. But you're seeing that what these uh like the scriptures say that the sown places shall appear on sown, and we're seeing that now. And it says the full storehouses shall shut shall, shall suddenly be found empty man and we're coming to that time man we are coming to that time where these full storehouses are going to be found empty man okay 
And um, I was meditating on one precept, but uh, let me go back to Ezekiel. Um, Ezekiel chapter 7, all right, Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 26, and it reads, Mischief shall come upon mischief, rumor shall be upon rumor, then shall they seek then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priest and from the council of the ancients. That's right. So in them times, hey, many people are going to be trying to, um, many people are, are, are going to try to uh, uh, cleave unto the men of the Lord in them times. Hey, like it says in Ezekiel, the third chapter, I believe the 27th verse. All right. How it says, the, the, uh, you have shall, shall make the, um, the tongue cleave to the roof all right, of, uh, of the men of the Lord, man. Because right now, hey, this is the mercy. Yahweh Shemel Shah is giving out mercy by sending out his men, man. All right. You know, to, 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 to prophesy that. I mean, to prophesy and to give out that warning. Hey, but hey, when is it? Hey, you know, when that, when the spiritual art closes, hey, that's going to be it, man. Hey, but, you know, I don't want to make this lesson too long. But, hey, like the article says, man. Okay, three factors that are about to make the coming food shortages even worse, man. And the end time headlines comes out with a food shortage article at least one time every week, man. One time every week. Okay, so you know, hey, take that to an account, man. That you know, hey, brothers, begin to fast, man. You know, speaking to myself first and foremost, because hey, soon. The majority of these food places ain't going to have no food. But Isaiah, the 65th chapter, you know, says that my servants, my servants shall eat, my servants shall drink, man. So, you know, just take that, you know, the mind, you know, praying that this lesson was edifying to the next time. I want to give all praise, glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. The will honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone everywhere. And uh, peace, blessings and salutations and hopefully let's scatter the broad. Till next time, Shalom, Ababa, Ababa. Call me Ashala,